We're back. We are. It's been a while. It has. So you, I, so you might have thought that I was going to videotape last week while I you know, were gone. I know. I was so excited to come back, and I looked on our Facebook page, and I was like, where are the Car Chronicles videos? I couldn't pull it off. I couldn't pull it off. There was only one person I was really thinking mm -hmm. like I was going to bring in as a guest, yeah. and the one day that we could do it, I just couldn't get here. So it wasn't meant to be, that's and right. that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I think it's okay. So let's cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you being back. Thanks. It's good to be so back. So for those people who have no idea mm -hmm. where you were. Yes, I went to Israel for almost two full weeks, and mm -hmm. it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing, it right? It was incredible. So if you ever get the chance, you have to go. That's yeah. what I keep telling people. It's really, it was, I'm so glad that you did that. Yeah. So good. And um, you had nice weather while you were gone, you said. The weather was the best. If you, I mean, if you get the chance to go to Israel, go. But if you get to choose when you go, I would go in April because it's right after rainy season. Mm. So the northern part of the country, which who knew, is mountains and valleys and orchards and vineyards. And so after rainy season is lush, like the greenest greens I've ever seen in my whole life. That is crazy because when we were there... It was hot. I want to say and dead, it was I'm the sure. brownest browns. Yes. So the whole northern, so the whole half, first half of my trip was literally, I have never seen that green everywhere. Vineyards, orchards, mountains, valleys. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then the bottom half of the country is desert and rock and I whatever. I feel like but, I was in a completely different place. So April, that's when I recommend. And I it was 65 to 75 about. versus you were like 100. Yeah. And I like hot weather, but there is a point of diminishing return when it comes yes. to hot weather. Right. So. Which we wouldn't know anything about here in Dallas because really we have had full I heard spring. you had pretty warm weather while I was gone. Yeah, we actually did have some nice days while you were gone. But okay. then yesterday, craziest thing, if you live in this area, you know this. They were yes. saying tornado and hail yeah. the size of baseballs and we cut meetings short and everybody went home and after, after school, school programs were canceled and it was like batting down the hatches. Like city offices And then closed. it was sunny. It was literally sunny. I'm not exaggerating. Yes. And then today they said sunny and then it rained all morning. Right. So, but now it's but sunny. the sun's out. And the sun is out now and it's windy and yes. we're just happy about it. Mm -hmm. And it's 70, which we should be happy about. I could take okay. a touch warmer, mm -mm. but then summer's going to come Stay and right we're all going to be wished. Yeah, yes. I know. I know. I know. I get it. Yes. Um, okay. So. I'm cheersing. Yeah. Which I think is something you probably want to talk about. But I'm cheersing that while I was gone, we had our one year anniversary of Park Chronicles. No, It's true. Who knew? So do you remember how the whole... I absolutely what remember What do you how, remember about it? I remember being in your garage at some crazy early hour working, we were, working on tokens for Queen Creek. Yeah. Because we needed a bunch of tokens. And you came home from your gym workout and you said, I have a crazy idea. And I said, what? And she said, I think, you know, we used to do free for all Fridays, videos on Friday. She said, I think we should do that again. But I think we should like go to Sonic and do it. Because we would come here every day for dimes, dimes because we we're always on a quest to collect dimes all year round. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, then that very afternoon. Well, and then I said, so let's start planning. Oh, yeah. Because that's the way my mind works. No, no. It's like we have to plan because it has to go. be a big deal and it has to be all this and that. And Just then Katie, and Katie's like, well, let's go. Let's go today. And I'm like, today? We haven't planned anything. And she's like, so what do we need to plan? Let's just go. Right. And then that has started a year's worth of completely unplanned, impromptu, off the cuff, probably what useless What are we going to talk about? Right. Yeah. And maybe on the verge of useless. And here we are. I don't know. Anyway, so we've had Anyways, fun over the years. We've had fun over the years. The year. Oh, the year. But it feels like years. <laughs> feels like it's but, years. But um, one of the first ones we've done, and we, we do, I feel like we need to kind of get back into this, which we're going to have okay. a break over the summer we're going to plan. Do you remember Derby was my favorite when mm. we filled the car with all those the, flowers? The car is filled today. Yeah, the car is filled Not today. With flowers. Let's talk about what the car is filled with because that's kind of fun. The car is filled with, well, I removed about 100 of them, so 775. Student workbooks from a local junior high school. Which Katie has to read through and yes. um, evaluate. What's your shine, people? What's your shine? Let's, let's just take a little sample. We've determined... You want to do that on live video? I know. It's really crazy what goes on in the head of these middle, middle schoolers. schoolers. So, yeah. This is just a little cray-cray. Uh, we should read out... So... So, okay, one thing I'm learning is that you do learn important things about people that in this age range, which Absolutely. we would not know if we weren't mm -hmm. asking these questions. It's one of the greatest values. We might not love their answers. We might not even understand their mm -hmm. answers. But the truth of the matter is, but it is their answers. And you're totally getting insight into what matters to them Yes, right? right? Mm -hmm. So... So this person is saying things like, my life is ideal when I am in the gym, mm -hmm. sleeping, playing something 2k okay 
at Foot Locker, at Champs, at Foot Action, this person likes shoes, Athletics. at Practice, at Home, Eating Panda Express, and Eating Chick-fil-A. Okay. Then they say their top three priorities are playing 2K, sleeping, and being at home. I think that's interesting. So that is interesting. I mean, again, it's not exactly what we were thinking when we mm -hmm. put the curriculum together, but I will tell you that they... It, it does give insight into right. the lives of young people. And we asked them some interesting, uh, we asked them some other interesting questions. And so, anyway, that's mm -hmm. that. It's very, very interesting. And um, we're, you're going to have fun going through all of these, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, anyway, that's that. So, that's what the car's full of today. But, yes, yes. the car full of tulips was really fun. So, yeah, it's, it is literally a sea. What I thought was funny is when you went to pick them up that they didn't have them in boxes. That's okay. They just, just had them. I, they had a cart for me, so I just that was loaded them on the cart and rolled them out. And yeah, now I'll put them in Rubbermaid Tupperware containers. From here on out, I think when you show up, you should have. I'll just take them with you. Yeah, yeah, just take them with you, just in case. Um, so that's great. So the other fun thing that we so one year, and that was kind. Yes. That's kind of a fun memory. What do you have a fun memory? Like that was probably one of my faves. Mm. Um, I think my favorite was when we went to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And we had the whole van full of people. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. At Cart yeah. I thought you were going to say when we went to Sonic headquarters. Oh, that how was can fun I forget too. about that? I know. That was fun too. Should we take it on the you road know my, and go to a different You know what my least... Really? Now? I have been trying to get you to do that. No, no, no. I don't mean in the area. Oh, I mean like... You like another, on the road. Right? right. She just wants to meet in Grapevine. <laughs> That's not exciting. If we're, then I would feel disloyal. It, it, it's one thing if you're going to another Sonic because you're in another state. Excuses. Um, no, it's true. So Plus, I don't want to go to Grapevine. You know what my least favorite was? What? When we tried over the summer. And you oh, and God, that was insane. That was bad. Yeah, that was insane. We've done some fun things. What we should have done, again, should have, woulda, coulda, we should have made a list of some of the funny things. Like the time that we went to Sonic to get the pickle drink. That was that time. That was that time. And the time that, I don't know, we just... The we, time we tried to get um, mint juleps, this was the derby. Yeah. We tried to get mint milkshakes, but they don't make mint milkshakes. They don't. So we got like a, sour apple something. And it was gross. Good. It was gross. And by the way, why don't they make a mint milkshake? Right. That seems like a staple any place. And um, the time you turned the car into a football field. That was somewhat Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Right. That was fun. We were rooting for different teams. Yes. Yep. And I didn't gloat. Mm -hmm. Um... And then, yeah, okay, but there will be some other... So so I should have brought the thing that was announcing what today was. Mm. Um, I have a little calendar that our friend Peggy Sue gave me that tells me every single day is a different thing to celebrate. And, you know, so today was a day, and I but wanted to bring it. today is the 18th. It. Today is the 18th, and so, but it was, it's like, it's some like random dinosaur. Holiday, yeah. I know, oh, it's a random okay. dinosaur. I didn't even like it. It was dumb. Um, but today is the 18th, and so on our, on our website, on our Facebook blog, mm -hmm. if you will, sorry... We always do on the 18th, uh -huh. not our blog, our Facebook, Facebook page. page. We always do on the 18th of every month, what was your high, low, and a ha since the last time, mm -hmm. since the last month. And so you've already answered. Mm -hmm. I haven't, but we're curious. Maybe that could be our comment section. Yeah. What's your high, I low, like and it. a ha um, from uh, in, in the last, in the last month? month? Like, what's the best thing that's happened to you? What's the mm -hmm. worst thing that's happened to you? And what's something that you have learned mm -hmm. or realized in the last month, either about yourself or about something else? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of fun. Um, you also told me that, well, so of course, because it is our one year anniversary, we, Katie, was real quick looking up what is um, the thing for one year. Oh, yes. And Which it's, in the US, it's paper, but in the UK, it's cotton. Oh, okay. So well, it said, but it's interchangeable. It's basically. I brought you, I got you a present. They're cotton swabs. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You know <laughs> what I really need? Tissue. Oh, yeah, you do. You, yes. you, <laughs> you needed the paper. But I'll, maybe I'll just put two of these two together as a <laughs> tissue. There we go. Anyway, happy anniversary. Thanks. That's I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll clean my face later. <laughs> All right. So that's fun. And what else? Anything else for the What else you got right? coming up? Um, oh, okay. It's, that's a totally a loaded question. Do you? Can you tell when, when that happens? That was such I try a not to question. be obvious, but she just gave it away. Because so. I was because because uh, Colleen gave you the that directive. was a planted question. Colleen, I don't even know if you're out there. You're welcome, you're, Colleen. Yeah, if you're out there, Colleen told Katie to ask what was happening, and so that I would remember be forced to talk to about say something. That um, a week from this Saturday. Yes. That's very fast. Uh, I am doing a TED Talk. Yay! I know. I am I'm very excited. excited. Yes. I am very excited. I really love what it is I'm talking about. 
Yes. I'm wondering if I should say or if I, I think should... you should give a teaser. A teaser? Yeah. While you're thinking about that, it's okay. next Saturday, April 27th, mm-hmm. 12 to 3, Grace Community Church here in South Lake. Mm-hmm. Um, TEDx Youth, if you look it up, you can like, get yourself a ticket. And your kids. It's a youth event, too. So Yeah. Bring oh, your kids. For sure. Like, well, Load it sh- in with kids. Load it with kids. Bring your friends, your kids' friends. Yes. Who knows? Um, and I'm motivated for that because the more kids are there, the less adults are there. Right. Supposed to be talking to kids. Uh, I don't know if I have a great. Um, I don't know if I have a great clue. I don't want to. It's like shh, I don't want to tell you the clue because you might guess. So I think that was a clue, so that's fine. Maybe it was. Might have been a little clue. <laughs> kind of sneaky. Um, all right, so that's that. So TED Talk and one year anniversary mm-hmm. and journals and what's your high low aha and there was one other thing I was thinking. Oh. May, if you live in the area, Mm. in May we're hosting a book author. Mm. We're so excited about this event because it's at the fabulous One Page Brook here in the area. And I see Heather is watching, and Heather knows this book author because didn't you do it? Heather, okay. I I, we rarely talk to a single person, but if you're watching, let me just say this: it's Joy for Beginners, and this was Erica Baumeister Mm -hmm. who wrote Joy for Beginners, who we created a summer challenge, a friend challenge around this book and so the reason we're bringing this author is because we want to exp- we want to open this experience up to a lot of women and so she's coming in to talk about this book about the origin of it just about all the fun mm-hmm. behind this friendship challenge so she's going to be there and then also she's releasing a, a new, new book. book called the scent keeper two weeks after mm-hmm. our event and so she's going to do a reading at Kelly Bradley's house on May 4th Ninth. Ninth. I was going to say first. There's so many things happening in May. I can't even keep it straight. Uh, Anyway, so it's going to be a fabulous event. Not only because of the author and the book and the story behind the book and some other fun shenanigans we have up our sleeve, but the location. Hello. The Bradleys. The location is I know. Amazing. I lived there for two and a half years. You, you don't want to miss it. And it's going to... She's giving tours. So it's really going to be a really spectacle. Don't you don't want to miss it. You yep. don't want to miss it. So we hope to see you there. Yes. Um, okay. So I think that we should sign off. I was going to say, what are some of the top lessons that we've learned mm. in the a year worth of doing Car Chronicles? But I think one of the lessons we learned is that it's really easy to go on and on and on. And yes. you probably don't like it that much. Right. So if you want us to learn a lesson or if you want to tell us something great that you really like keep on doing more of that Claudia and Katie or something that you really don't like stop doing that Claudia and Katie feel free to put that in the comment section too yes yeah okay are we good I think so all right cheers friend here's to another year of fun car chronicles yes all right shining Shining off. off